welcome back. Um, now for something a little new. I've not cut any metal on the CNC machine yet. I'm going to try that today. If this is I was in a machine shop, like back in the day, I'd have no problem. I'd put it in a CNC mill, whip out this piece of real quickly. But I'm not sure how this is going to handle it. What, what, what I'm cutting is some 032 brass. And what I need to do is make a, a gear or a pawl, like the gears we made out of wood for those other small looms. And let me show you what I have to duplicate. Mara is duplicating uh, this loom. She's making two copies of it. We think that it may have been used for uh, lamp wicks. It's shaker uh, design. And uh, this drum here has a ratchet and a pawl to maintain tension on the, uh, on, on the warp, like any other loom, you have to maintain tension. The other, the other side has a friction lock. So let me show you what I have to duplicate. So as you see here, there's a little piece of steel made into a ratchet. It's 032 steel, and I'm, I, can I can assume this is uh, either machine cut or someone sat there with a file and a vise and cut all those those teeth into this gear and the pawl is right here. The pawl can be steel like this one but the ratchet I don't want to try to cut steel in the CNC so I'm going to make it out of the brass. Again it's a little piece of uh, 032 uh, came from Amazon it's, it's, it's what's known as machinable brass I'm going to be using a 16th inch end mill, carbide end mill, running at the slowest RPM speed, and I'm running very slow feed speed, and I'm going to be um, running two passes through this, and that includes the hole in the center for the shaft for the drum. So without further ado, as I like to say, let's get on and set this up in the CNC and see what happens. I've set it up, I've got it indexed, I've got the file ready to be downloaded into the system to go ahead and cut the piece. I'm going to start it and uh, see how it comes out. I won't sit here and record the whole thing. I'll show you the aftermath, good, bad, or indifferent, and see how it works cutting this brass. Well, success, modest success. Um, one of these is a climb cut, one is a standard cut. And actually, the climb cut came out better, but there's the two gears that we need for the two that Mars building. Uh, I will drill holes for pins to hold them onto the drum so it'll rotate with the drum but uh, it worked so now I know I can cut thin brass I'll experiment with other metals experiment with other metals but I can do brass I know I can do aluminum I'm a little hesitant to try to do any uh, any steel sheet steel but we'll give it a try at some point so there it is brass gears for ratchets excuse me for these two looms oh and by the way this is this is one of her replicas here it's not quite done, obviously. There's a lot more work that has to go on, but this is one of the replicas. Now, just take a look at this. This is some old Doug fur we got from her father years ago. Very tight grain, nice stuff. The rest of it's uh, pine, as the original one was. So, now I get the gears cleaned up, hand them over to her, and she can continue on with these.